Hi, today we're going to be talking about the displacement node, both in the 2D and 3D space in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Let's get to it. Let's go to the Fusion page. Let's press Control or Shift space bar to see Displace. Add that in, of course, media out automatically pops up. Drag that in the viewer, nothing shows because there's no input. Let's talk about this displaced node. Now for the displaced node, this one is for, for the 2D space. Shift, space bar, control, space bar, you see displaced 3D. You can add that. So that's here. Both of them have the same look. The orange input is the image that you want to deform. The green input is the map by which you displace this image. Distort, deform, refract this image. So let me give you an example. Let's see, we drag this down. Let me pull an image in from the media pool. And then just pull this in. Close the media pool. Connect that to the input of this displace. We see this image here. Let's make it a single view. Let me bring in fast noise. In fact, let's make it a dual viewer. Drag this to the viewer. Let's make this a bit more contrasty. Go to colors. Increase the alpha so the black shows more. Then let's go to gradient. Let's make this radial. And let's go here, drag this to the middle. And let's drag that. If we go here, Nothing has happened, if we see, nothing has happened to this image yet. But if we go to displace, if we go to refraction strength and increase it, nothing happens still because the fastness has not been connected. Connected to the input node here, and you see it just refracts that image. Now let's go into the settings. There are two types of displays for the 2D displace node. The radial and the XY body. For the radial, you can set the center. Now, for this, the center has been set to the actual center of the image. You can move the center to left or right, and it will change the way it refracts. Then, the channel by which you want it to refract, you can get it to refract only the red channel of the image that is coming through, or the green channel, or the blue channel, or just alpha and lumite values of the image. Then offset just sets the amount by which it's, what can I say? Offsets the image. <laughs> All right, yeah, then refraction strength. It determines how, by how much it changes the image or distorts the image. There is a light power thing going here. In some cases, it doesn't show so well. There's a simulated light that um, this displace generates where you see some reflections and all that. You can decide to change by how much that light shows. You can change the light angle. Let's, let's see whether I can make that show and drag that here and make this gray. And drag this kind of just to this input here. And let's see light power. So you see the light, if I increase it, just see that showing there. I can change the light angle. So this thing is just down to your imagination and what you can do with it. You can change light spread so the edges don't seem so sharp. And then the light channel, of course, you can do that on the red channel of the image of this image that's coming in here red, blue, alpha, or luma channels, much like the refraction channel. That's that for radial. X, Y is much, much like the same thing, but for X channel, you have that channel thing you have here, the refraction channel here, you have it for both the X and the Y values. So you can set whether you wanted to apply to the red, green, blue, alpha, or luma channels. Same thing for the Y value. And for this one, you can, you can change the X offset. You can also change the strength of the refraction 
on the x-axis, same thing for the y channel, you know, y offset, y refraction, the light value, much like what we discussed in the radial tab, and then light angle spread, light color. That's that for displays on the 2D node. Now let's go to the 3D space. If I drag this to the viewer, nothing shows because there's no input. Let's bring in a, an image plane, connect this to that. Right. And then let's pull this first notch there. Let's close this, move this here, connect that here. You see how the fastness displaces this? It's pretty brutal. So let's go to displace 3D. Let's reduce the scale a whole lot. But still somewhat jagged. You know, bias also just like offset. Then if we go to fast noise and press control space bar and put blur. If we increase the blur, it smoothens our edges and makes it just a wee bit better. We can also go to the fast noise, go to noise and reduce the contrast a little bit. Yeah, and then this image plane, it does the subdivision so we can increase it to, let's say 200, so it becomes smoother. So you see this thing here showing Let's go here and go to render node, drag that right in here. Let's put a merge node in between here. And let's give it, um, let's see, ambient light. And go to render node, open GL, light shadow. Then increase this, drag this to the viewer. And then we go to this image plane. Let's say replace material and just pull in one of those templates from Fusion Shader. Let's pull in, let's pull in, put in making four. Let's say cool metal, pull that in. And then, if we go to this drag up camera node. Pull that in here. Let's go to transform for the camera. Just setting up this space so you can see it. Yeah, so you see something like this. Let's say I move this one now for the image plane. Let's say I twist it very. So it's, it's 90 degrees. Yeah. So we go to displays. Let's drop the scale a little bit more. So it's, yeah, something like that. We go there like that. And let's go to the image plane. Let's reduce the angle a little bit. Something like this. And go to the camera and zoom in just a little bit. Or just increase the size of the image plane. Something like this. And we go to fast noise. A C3 is set this to F0.01 and 0.02. Let's say we play this. Okay, it's simple. If we want. So we see this, this whole thing deforming very slowly. And all. you could even change the color of this to make it look more like. So you see this. It looks like a body of water. I could fine tune this uh, fast noise. Let's say uncheck this. I increase the X scale. See how it crunches up. Double click on that. I can increase the Y scale. So it looks more like waves in the ocean. So I increase this to maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.04, and then we play it back. See that? like water. What we just need to do now is change the color of the water. Click on this cool metal. Go here. It's fine blue. That's just not exactly steep blue. Almost white. Something like this. Yeah. So if we do that, the rest will go share. You can put your bring a color correcting. And just drop the saturation a little bit. So it looks more like water. Go to this color on the kids. And the mirror one. 
is my create then goes to color correct so I'll drag this to the one so you have this thing that looks like water very simple straightforward so if you're going to put a sun here and make it look really nice so that's it guys hope you learned one or two things for the displace node and um you have a nice one